Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Zeke here again today to bring you another episode of Let's Play FTL Advanced Edition and the um, really kind of crazy weird NG ship that is kind of bad all things considered. I'm gonna go up to this NG control sector, I need scrap, I need supplies, I need repair, I need NGs. Bitch, I look like NGs. So there's two stores already. But I want as much money before I go to them as possible, even though I'm low health, at least now I have a breaching bomb and some mantises for boarding in case the necessity arises. Okay, they're gonna board me. It's probably not a smart idea. Of course they board me in an area where it's even a stupider idea. Where's the door system? They're in the door system. So once they break into here, I'm gonna close that off and kill the shit out of them. As... Holy fuck, this ship is kind of intimidating. Now I'm gonna want that defense drone up if possible. I'm gonna need three, ooh. System repair doesn't need to be up right now. I remember, it just stays there no matter what, so good things are abound. These two are gonna die fairly easily. I just need some defense. You two have to heal up eventually. Breach bomb on the shields. It does a ton of crew damage and a ton of shield damage, and then I can start fucking around with everything else. Unfortunately, they hit my weapons there, but I did manage to do a lot of damage before they hit my weapons. I'm not too sure I'm interested in getting another breach bomb down, but I am definitely interested in boarding at this point. I'm probably boarding in their weapons and helping destroy them. Defense drone is up, I have extra power hanging out. They do have a med bay? So they're actually gonna fight me instead of... Interesting, interesting. I need one more power in order to... Um, let's power down the O2 for a bit. In order to power up the halberd beam. I will completely take out their... Sh actually, I'm gonna wait for them to go to the med bay. Then I'm gonna breach the shit out of it. Now it's dead. Let's fight them in there. And then they're all dead. Okay, lovely. You are almost dead too, so let's close this, close this, open this. Fuck the shields for now. I can't take damage, so I need this fire to die. This can go off, this can go on. Um, oxygen can definitely go on now. Teleporter can teleport me back. Please go up before you kill the shields. Yo. Oh, I could not afford to take that one damage. But now I can afford to go back to a store and heal up entirely. This is a fucking godsend. Oh, that was a tough fight. That was not an easy fight. I need more power. Like, I know I just said I need to repair desperately, but I need more power even more desperately to keep all my ship powered up. So let's um, close these two now, or close these three. Actually, that's how I should have dealt with the invasion. I should have let them be deprived of oxygen a bit longer and maybe try to break into the shield room. But I didn't do that. So let's go... Can these stores jump to each other? No, they can't. So I can really only go to one or the other. Or maybe I can manage to go bounce, bounce, bounce. But I'll see. The reason I want to is that there might be a weapon pre-igniter. Um, only crew. Do I need crew? Not really. Do I need repairs? Fuck yeah. I don't actually want to fully repair, because as I say a lot, repairing is a huge waste of money. I am going to need extra missiles now. If I have the chance to get an explosives replicator, I would be stupid not to. I will definitely aid the civilian ship. They have a clone bay, which is going to be the tough part here. They're going to invade us right away. And they invade us, oh man, in the sensor room, huh? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my weapon guy out of there, move my mantises into there, and actually deoxygenate the entire fucking area. And then when it's deoxygenated, I'm gonna close them in. And move to the teleporter and let them try to break the door. I'm gonna activate a defense drone. I'd fucking better. O2's down, but you know, I have the system repair drone for that. Eventually, that will also deoxygenate. Then I can move them into the. 
Actually, I kind of want them to fight my mantis at this point. Activate the med bay, let them in. There we go. Then I can close all this. Oxygen is not powered for some reason, so that's always a plus, I guess. These fucking bombs. I hate these bombs. They're killing me, killing me. I'm gonna breach the fuck out of you, out of you. Unfortunately, they have NGs. Fortunately for me, I have bullshit. There we go. That is all down now, and I can probably start boarding them and destroying the shit out of their um, clone bay is the necessary thing. Let's get you back into the weapons room. And you two over into the... yeah, right there. Don't want to auto-fire breach if I don't have to. So they do have two more mantises remaining. Which is a bit rough, considering I haven't really leveled up my... okay. I don't have a clone bay, I gotta run. And then, oh shit. Hell, son! Hail son, check out my guns. I'm gonna make another record, then I'm gonna double up. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for them to come in here. Then I'm gonna teleport out. Then I'm gonna send one of these guys into here. Then I'm gonna watch for where two of them gather, and I'm gonna breach bomb the shit out of it. Then I'm gonna heal them. So two of them are dead at least. I need to also, um, oh, I need to breach bomb their shields again. That's my problem. Now there's your problem. Okay, you know what? What I should really do is actually breach bomb this. And then reinvade, because I've killed a lot of guys now. I want to make that unrepairable. These guys are both full health. They can't damage me, is the main is the main thing here. Really? Really guys? Okay, fine. Fight me in the med bay. I'm I'm always up for a fight in the med bay. Bobby says it's fine. You're fighting in the med bay right now. Fell in love with a girl. Fell in love once, and I'll breach your ass. She's in love with the breach bomb. Where's their last crew? Oh, there we go. Attempt to contact the civilian ship. They ran away. Probably was not worth my time, even though I took no damage there. I used a... well, not that many missiles, actually. Yeah, maybe it was worth my time. Maybe it was. Let's power up the med bay again and get the fuck out of here. I'm actually kind of out of stasis for supplies like fuel, missiles, drone parts. I had to buy them for quite a while, but you know, I think it's paid off. I think it has paid off drone recovery arm would be really nice. Um, I could actually jump back to that store and then... Is there anything I want to sell or buy for, for 60? Not really. So let's go to this distress. The reason I'm going to the distress instead of jumping around is that it could lead me to another distress or a quest or... Um, fucking Christ. Why is it always giant alien spiders with you people? All the NG sectors are just fucking infested. Um, sell 15 missile... Oh, I can't afford to... I'd really like to, but I can't afford to. I'm sorry. Especially with that store coming up, I'd really like to. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All day I'd be jumping into nothing, apparently. Okay, at least this is a fucking fight. So, first things first, they hack my piloting. If I put up my defense drone, they can't touch me. Which means that if I were to, let's say, breach this and then just teleport in there, they'd be fucked.
Oh wait, I, I'm in the wrong room. I just went to the wrong room. Why am I such an idiot? Okay, there we go. I'm actually gonna let it deoxygenate a bit. I wish I could still see them. I'll stop breaching there. And then, before they repair it, I'll jump in and make things hard on them. Then I'll try to let them repair it. Which they won't, because they're fucking almost dead. Who's almost dead? Oh, both my um, mantises. And then everybody's dead. Phew, that was a close call. I um, need to upgrade my teleporter just in case, because this, this current strategy I have is good, but my god, it's, it's, it's close. It's close to not being good. And it involves having my mantises fight in a deoxygenated room, which is always kind of scary. So let's jump away. I'll have to go to the store and then to this, then to the exit. I really got no choice in the matter. I'm just not picking up as much scrap as I need to. Um, backup battery, clone bay could be nice. Halbert, second halberd beam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fuck. I actually really want to get that second halberd beam because it would be super funny to have a breach bomb two and double halberd beams but I can't. So maybe I'll have another option like it in the future, or possibly I can get like a flat cannon mark two scrap recovery arm, I will just mine the asteroid field, get the extra scrap because of the scrap recovery arm too, and jump to the exit. I need fuel. Why do I never notice this shit? Two fuel for one, I kick him. <laughs> That's a horrible deal, especially when I have no fuel. Let's go to the mantis controlled sector. Maybe I can get a reconstructive teleport there. I'm pretty sure the things that are sold in sectors have to do with what sector you're in often. So jump here and hope for fuel. And beacon on and wait. Okay, you know, this is not the worst thing that could happen. Um, it's pretty close to the worst thing that could happen, but it's not. <laughs> so let's... I can actually jump or teleport onto their ship. I know it's possible with, uh, with two levels of teleporter. It's just barely possible. Especially if the teleporter takes damage, it will mean their death. But what I can do is breach bomb the shit out of their pilot, and that will take out their pilot entirely no matter what. Fortunately, they have a bunch of beams, which isn't very useful. Okay, enemy FTL delayed. Now let's start on their shields. That might repair in time, but... Remember, once their shields are down, I do have the halberd beam. Do I remember this working? I think I do. Let's try it. Shields are down, halberd beam can come up and start damaging their engines. And then Breach Bomb can actually go down at this point, and Halberd Beam can take over entirely. I'm not sure how they got hits in. Oh, they ionized our fucking, um, shit. Oh, God. Um, yeah, that hurts a lot. I shouldn't have actually turned off Breach Bomb. I should have just unfired it. Okay, shields are back up. That was actually a very, very close call. System, that is just down temporarily. FTL's delayed still. Um, system repair drone is down. Defense drone is down. That's what the problem is. Doesn't matter as long as my weapons are up. I can keep firing that beam and keep on damaging them. And we have killed delayed, and we is dead. So that was a bit scarier than I had initially anticipated, but it worked out. Um, I can actually teleport on board those oxygenless ships, which is good to know. I'll let him start repairing everything again. All he needs to do is repair two bars, 
and I did get fuel out of that. And scrap, so, you know, no, no, no negative, pretty much. Now, hopefully I jump somewhere where there is a shop. This is my best option. I get exposed to three new jump points. I'm going to attempt to download the data stores. Even though this is a scary ship, I can already tell, and it has cloaking. Defense drone needs to go up, but it can't damage me as long as it doesn't hit me, and those are all single-fire weapons, but they might all be single-fire weapons that fire at approximately the same time. Ow, that hurt. Okay, so that needs to be repaired before anything else happens. Now they're all firing slightly separately, so this thing can't touch me. That first volley was unfortunate. Um, so I should go in here and try to take out their shield. Well, I can just breach bomb their shields, right? I should go in here and try to take out their stealth. Could be risky, but... Because I could get stuck in there, is the main thing. I'll breach bomb their shields now. Now here's the thing with me possibly getting stuck in here. Remember how I said that? Wait, why, am, why are they taking more damage now? Did I not heal them? Oh, they took a hit when they were all... Oh, Fucking Christ! Well, there goes my teleporter. Hopefully I can hire two more mantises in this sector. <sighs> I am an idiot. I forgot that they had taken, like, the smallest of hits. So they both ended up with slightly less health than I had anticipated, so they both ended up dead. Wow. <laughs> and I risked so much in order to get that. Breach bomb, stop auto-firing. That ain't good for you. That ain't good for nobody. Ain't nobody know how. No. There we go. Distress beacon, I guess. Hopefully they don't ask for fuel and instead give me fuel. Our distress is we have too much fuel. Help us. So up here, I think, is my best option. Although I should have, should have maybe jumped downward so I could get to the exit faster. Wait. Um, request emergency fuel reserves? Okay, three. I don't want to spend money. The thing is, I'm a bit of a miser, so I just didn't want to spend money on that. I will aid the civilian here because it looks like they're going to actually have a hard time getting through my defense drone. Now I'm entirely reliant on my fucking... Okay, you know what? Even these two can fight inside here, inside the med bay. So let's do that. Fortunately, they're breaking through in like the stupidest goddamn way possible. So Breach will just permanently fire on shields. They managed to get back there. Unfortunately, they have an NG and a lot of shields. So I'm going to have to hit them with two Breaches and hope that they don't repair enough in time. Remember that their NG can heal the Breach, but I think by the time the Breach charges up, he'll only have healed the Breach and not the shields at all. Perfect, all that is down. Now I'm gonna change up my Halberd Beam Strike a tiny bit to be like this. I'm gonna keep the Breach Missile firing. Um, I'm running out of Breach Missiles, or of Missiles, so maybe I'm not, actually. But there are several breaches in there. I need to upgrade my sensors. That's what I need. You never give me your sensors. You only give me your... Oh, fuck. Okay, what's going on here? Why is this empty? Why are the doors open? Did they actually manage to break in? What the fuck happened? So their guys are recovering slowly but surely. I'm pretty sure I've actually killed them all, but... I guess I didn't take down, take down the clone base, so that didn't work out too well. Attempt to contact civilians, they give me a bunch of shit. You get back in the shield room, you get back in the weapons room. And now I have extra scrap because I no longer have need of a teleporter. Let's go down here. Don't have too many jumps left in this sector. Really? You, you have no... Okay, fair enough. I, I don't even need to fucking use anything on this. I can just survive with the defense drone and wait for it to die. Maybe Halberd beam it. Did you get some more missiles on the last sector? 
Getting plenty of evasions despite having like no piloting ever. Halberd Beam can go on this, I guess. I don't want them to cloak again. Their engines are down. There, everything is down and they're dead. Please give me tons of scrap. Well, it's a bit of scrap at least. I could go ahead and like upgrade my engines at this point and I'm starting to remember last run where I died with like 500 scrap in the bank. And that run was not a good experience for me. I did not enjoy it. But here's a store, so that's pretty much exactly what I was looking for. What have I got? What have I got? Explosives replicator! Yes! Page one, do you have any missiles? Small bomb? Yeah, I'll take it. It's better than no missile when I have an explosive replicator, right? Defense mark one? Yes, I'll take it. Small bomb? Yes, I'll take it. Um, some extra missiles just to make sure. All the fuel they have. Actually, all their missiles, some more drone parts. Um, yeah, that, that's fucking beautiful. So, so right now I have, have a maxed out on my my drone control has. I need it needs two more ship. Okay, so I, I did a lot of things there. Um, mostly I tried to get everything up, but it didn't work. But that's alright. Thing, things are looking up. Things are trying to get down, but they're looking up. Wow, something about a crab in a bucket. The small bomb, breach bomb, fucking giant alien spiders! Stop it with the alien spiders all the goddamn time! Do you know no other tricks, game? Are you not amused? Well, I lost somebody. I lost my pilot. That kind of sucks. Two crew remaining. Start with start with one, end up with one, I guess. If things keep going this way. Slug Home Nebula. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Never accept fucking surrender from these assholes. It's not goddamn worth it. Uh, so, let's jump through the nebula, I guess. Okay, so... They have a pike beam, a bomb, and some lasers. I'm gonna activate my defense drone mark too. If I get the drone recovery arm at this point, I'm fucking set. My O2's out. So they're not they're not giving me a lot of quarter here. And they have a firebomb. I guess I should start actually opening all these areas up again to lack of oxygen. Opening them up to lack of oxygen. I am so clever with my work. There we go. Hit number one. Unfortunately, Breach Bomb will do pretty much dick all against them. Why did my defense drone not shoot down anything there? Anyone care to fucking tell me? Because I am slightly pissed. Oh yeah, I can actually um, activate also defense drone mark two. Unfortunately, fires will not last long and halberd beams fucking will destroy their goddamn world. Remember, I have explosive replicators, so my explosives should be on, like, the upswing now. And their weapons should be on the downswing. Shields are entirely down. My main problem right now is going to be the O2. I might have to withdraw to the med bay until this fight is over. I'll just wait for that to happen, though. I do have an extra... This fucking track is way too intense! It's making me feel all stressed out, dude! can't fucking do that to me. There we go. They're dead. I do actually have to withdraw to the med bay. Fortunately, I did it just in time. Um, again, Varnus almost died there. O2 should be back up and running. Indeed it is, but for some reason I... Oh, yeah. Medbay level 1, by the way, just heals enough to avoid dying of oxygen deprivation. Just enough. So let's head into here, and into here. Open this back up, open this back up. 
I should probably close some doors. Like these ones? Yeah. Just to put some barriers up if there happens to be invaders from space. Which are way better than the types of invaders you get here on Earth. Goddamn lazy ass invaders. Why don't you like build yourself a spaceship? At least make an effort uh, trying to get yourself to space so you can be space invaders. Wow, that was a lot of damage to my hull. System repair drone, you wanna like fucking deal with that or something? Okay. So things are going well and incredibly badly at the exact same time. This, uh, this nebula is not paying out with as much scrap as I very much need it to. And I mean absolutely need. There is no way I can sur keep surviving if this keeps sucking so much. I will get invaders here. I should have upgraded my doors at some point, but where did they invade? Oh, right there. Okay. Well, you know, the second they break through, I'm going to, well, first of all, Defense Drone Mark II. And you know, also, Defense Drone Mark I. And then these two head over here, close these doors in order to oxygenate this shit. My oxygen is entirely down now, so that's not gonna be happening. But they'll die super quickly anyways. Why don't you repair my fucking oxygen, you goddamn dick fa face? This, this is gonna be my death. Unless I breach bomb their weapons and happen to take out enough of them to fucking do something. Good luck with that, intruders. Seriously, wish you all the best. Breach bomb weapons again because they're fucking destroying me. Oh, I missed. They just have enough guns in order to keep killing me. Not much I can do about it. I guess I could like start up the small bomb as well so I can actually do some something at least. Nah, never mind, I'm dead. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a bit of a strange one. I made one major mistake, which was my whole mantis debacle. Um I'll try not to do that again. I'm learning as I go. But yeah, you know, gotta gotta die to learn, I guess. Thank you guys for <laughs> Not in real life. Don't take that advice in real life. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, leave me a like and a comment. Um, tell me what I could have improved there other than the very, very astoundingly obvious. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.